Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dictate specific websites to utilize a specific version of Java that's installed on your Windows machines. So here you can see on this Windows 10 machine, I have Java 751, 825, and 8111. On this machine, I also have the same thing. So this is a Windows 7 machine. I have Java 751, 825, and 8111. And you know the deal. The deal is if you use, say, Firefox or Internet Explorer and go to a particular uh, website, it's going to just default to, well, let's take a look. It's going to know and see the latest version of Java instead of maybe the version of Java you want to use. So if I go to java.com here, it's going to only find the latest version or whatever the, the most recent version you have that's installed. But that's not what you want to do. Typically, you've got internal applications or third-party apps that only work perfectly for the right version of Java. And we're going to map the website to the right version of Java for you. And we're going to do that right now. So over here on my sales OU, I'm going to do a PP Java rules demo here. Click edit on the GPO, and we'll do this on the computer side. So all the Java Rules Manager stuff has to happen on the computer side, and then every user on that computer is affected. So we'll go to add a new policy here, and we'll start out with java.org. Uh, and we'll go ahead and say, uh, actually, I just want to make sure I copy it correctly, not that it's hard. So yeah, HTTPS, so we'll copy that guy. We don't want to use the default. That would just figure out the latest version I have. What I want to do is I want to tie that down to, oh gosh, I don't know, run the version 751 that I have. So kind of a little bit old and crusty, but maybe that's what I want, 751. And what I'll also do is create another rule for another website, and that other website is javatester.org. So I'll go ahead and put that here, and I want to make javatester.org run, but I don't want it to use the latest version. I want it to show version 8.25. So version 8.25. There we go. So I'm setting both of those up. It's just as simple as that. I've done the mapping, and I'm going to go ahead and close this out and run GP update on my endpoints. So once while this is uh, cooking here, I'll just go ahead and let this settle in. And then uh, it doesn't really matter which browser I use, if I use Internet Explorer or Firefox. So I'll use Internet Explorer on, say, Windows 10 here, and I'll use uh, Firefox on the other machine. It doesn't really matter. So if I go to Internet Explorer on Windows 10, and if I were to go to java.com, let's see what version that it reports now. Do I have Java? Remember, before, it only showed the latest version, but now we're teaching it to use your Java version is 751. And if I were to go to javatester.org and test the version of Java at this website, I'm going to get 825. So we're not, quote, seeing the latest version. And if I were to go over to a different operating system and use Firefox, and for instance, just do the same test, go to java.com. And do I have Java? It's going to say exactly the same thing because both of these computers are in the same OU, so they're getting exactly the same settings. So you can see we get 751 here. And if I go to javatester.org, we get 825. It's as simple as that. You can dictate what website is going to run what version of Java, provided that Java is on that machine. I have one Last thing I want to show you here, which is which is about blocking. So, for instance, let's say there's a you find out that users are going to a website that maybe they shouldn't go to. So, for instance, I go over to this website here. It's another Java tester, actually. This happens to be uh, NASA.gov. And wait a minute, something's wrong. There's it's uh, it's there's something wrong with the certificate here that's uh, between the website and the Java. But uh, well, you want to if they can just click run and run it anyway. Okay, and it runs just fine. But who knows? Maybe this thing is naughty. So how can we how can we block this if that's something we want to do? So we'll go back over to the rule. We'll right click, add a new policy here, and this time we'll say no NASA for you. Sorry NASA, I'm a big fan, but not in this case. So go ahead and say the location is that website, and this time I'm going to block and put a message in here like your IT department says this is just not okay and you can put whatever message you want in there I'll go ahead and click okay here so now 
I'm blocking a specific website. And you can do this with a couple of different criteria. I'm doing it the fastest way possible here. And I'll run GP update. I'll only show you on this machine to kind of keep the keep the uh, the time low. Okay, that's all set. And now let's go back over to, it doesn't matter if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer here. Now if we go ahead and try to go to that website that we went to earlier, there we go. Okay, the website loads, that's just fine. Java, however, when you say to go to continue it as a standard user, you then get, oops, you get blocked. And the reason is your IT department says that this is just not okay. So you get to dictate what websites will run with version of Java. And also, if there's a particular Java applet on a website you don't want to run, you can block it and give them a reason. That is Policy Pack Java Rules Manager in a nutshell. We have a couple more videos. Check them out. And if you're ready to get started, just join us for a webinar and we'll hand over the bits. You can start real soon. Thanks so very much and see you soon.